Hello, my wonderful collectives. Welcome to my channel. This is Lava. Good to see everybody. And welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collectives. Let's take a look. What changes are coming towards you after this transformation? What should you expect? What should you expect? I have Relevation. Something here is being revealed. Something here about your situation was, will be revealed or already is revealed. Something to do with your innocence. Okay, there is a truth here to say that you are innocent. There is relevation to your innocence. Innocence, truth. Maybe whatever it is you're do, dealing currently, you could have been um, unlawfully accused of doing something. There could have been harm done to your name to your reputation or to your actions so there are a lot of relevation coming in heavily here that you are innocent you're not guilty you're innocent what exactly what exactly is here being established so what i feel like the divine is moving you towards is redemption of your name clarified what does this situation has to do with the relevation itself in regards of your innocence here. Lying, malice, envy, obscenity, irresponsibility, carelessness. Someone here lied about you. It was malice. Somebody malicely, intentionally tried to lie. So all the lies I feel like that have been brought forth against you are being overturned. There is intentional lying and malice out of envy towards you. You understand? So once again, where are you coming? You're coming right now currently through this important transition period where truth is being told. The relevation, the facts, the evidence, the truth. The truth is that you're actually innocent. You're innocent. It could be um, law enforcement found out the truth about the malice, the lying, the envy, the obstinacy against you. There was intentionally, I feel like, a group of people lied intentionally against you. So this is what coming to light. All the lies, all the hatred, all the jealousy, all the envy is being revealed. Tell me more about this situation. See, five of swords, conflicts, aggressions towards you. Someone here is very aggressive. I have Aquarius here. Five of swords, Aquarius, air sign. Group of people utilize prohibited techniques. Something happened here. The conflict happened was very unexpected. You did not expect this, but this has happened in your past most likely. And for the longest time, I feel like you had to fight for truth. See, I have seven of swords in reverse. It's truth, once again, relevation. It's a confirmation here that truth is being revealed about what happened to you. All the lies that have been utilized against you has been revealed. The truth is out. The confession, I feel like the part of this community that went after you, they're starting to tell the truth. There is a confession, truth. Relevation of honesty. You have been highly abused in your past by jealousy, by envy. It was a strategy. Who did this? Who did all this lying, this malice, and envious? What kind of group of people it is that did this to you? Out of jealousy, out of hatred, out of revenge. It's all out. Whether this individual know it or not. But it's time for truth now. That's exactly what it is. Whether they want it or don't want it. This is already out. Every single thing that was said about you. Is gone. See destruction. Destruction of strong position of these individuals. They cannot, they cannot hold their tower anymore. Secrets are out. So they're facing a serious destruction here and damage for what they did. This is, could have been for intention of breaking your union. Doesn't have to be. 
break in your partnership. This is, could be also a couple that did this. Some sort of couple. It was intentional lying. Who, who is responsible? Who is going under, under this judgment right now? Because nothing they can do to protect themselves anymore. Some sort of female, queen of pentacles. Could be a nurse sign. Doesn't have to be materialistic, lying, narcissistic female. Could be a nurse sign. She's the one that brought forth this lying. I also have star. This is what represents that she's on a distance or she prevented you to achieving some sort of wish fulfillment. Could have been in relationship. She interfered bluntly in your relationship, in your union. Was intense to break your life up. This is could be to break you and some partner up or to simply break off any sort of partnership you may have or, or have had in the past with somebody. This is a lying, narcissistic female here. So truth is out about her malice, about her jealousy, about her lying. She's not getting away with this. See, Ten of Swords, she's done. She's finished here. Ten of Swords, she's finished. Knight of Swords, this is, this is her envy and aggression towards you. All out of revenge. This female was obsessed uh, with idea that you should suffer. That you should suffer. Two-faced. See, it's aggression towards you as a queen of cups. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Beautiful. Because you were loved. Because you, you are loved by many. So that's what she did. Some sort of king of pentacle, king of cup showman means she could have parned up with some other water sign king to do this to you. Right? Narcissist. A two narcissistic persons. So she, this, is, this is, can no longer continue the way it is. I'm here to let you know that this malice and revenge is already being revealed. And if it hasn't been revealed, it's about to be revealed. Tell me more about this queen of pentacles. Gold digger. That's exactly why she comes up as a pentacle. She's a gold digger. She wants what you have. She's money hungry. She's a self-serving. She only cares about herself. Money, money, money. Because she has nothing else to offer. She's a gold digger. She looks for men with money that could support her and maybe her kids or whatever the case may be. That's a narcissistic, two-faced gold digger. And any man that she ever been with, she's only with them for money. A narcissist. And on top of that snake, she's going behind everybody's back. She's deceitful, swindler. She's a snake. She's two-faced. She's done so much damage against you that this person literally going through destruction right now. And if it hasn't happened yet, I can assure you that everything in her life is being destroyed and broken. That's a ten of swords. This is right underneath her. And right above her is a tower. She's literally between the tower and ten of swords. So she's done. She's finished. She can no longer continue manipulating anybody. She's a narcissistic, two-faced gold digger. So you don't need to worry anymore or be concerned. Because the truth is out. Everything she did to you out of jealousy. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? By Two of Cups, I can see that she at one point interfered in your relationship. There's love here. She didn't want you to be with somebody. She didn't want you to be loved. She's just a miserable, pathetic loser. A pathetic, narcissistic, psychopathic snake. Jealous. She might dye her hair blonde, but she's not natural blonde. Most likely she has brown eyes. She doesn't have to be. 
What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? Intense from motives. <laughs> Once again, third time confirmation. Finding out and coming to light. Every single thing she did, every single lie she did, everything this sick person, gold digger did, is coming out to light. Time has came for revelation. Time has came for realization. Everybody here is going to realize who she truly is, a snake. She could have hacked your social media account. She could have paid somebody to hack your stuff. She's stalking you. She's harassing you. She have access, access to your accounts. She's a stalker and sicko that won't stop to seek revenge against you and all the damage that she has done. So everything is out here, my wonderful collectives. What else is coming out to light here? Tell me more about her. Lessons learned and Archangel Michael. I feel like this situation was this narcissistic, revengeful nutcase that wanted to seek revenge against you, this gold digger, sicko, okay? Because that's exactly who she is, a vacco. A vacco that wanted revenge against you because you're more beautiful, smarter, unique, better than her. She wanted to be better than you. There's no match. There's no match. She's nobody. And time showed her that. And time is yet to show her that exactly where she belongs. Exactly where she belongs in a snake pit. But I also feel on a positive side that this experience dealing with this narcissistic gold digger, this disgusting snake that entered your life is for you to grow because I feel like you learned tremendously going through this experience. It was a learning process. It was a learning experience. You, you need to know that you are protected. You are divinely protected and you're also spiritually awakened after this situation. So you've grown right? You've grown from this situation. You actually ascended to be where you always meant to be. I have divine feminine here. So you become this divine feminine. This individual that punished you, this gold digger, she's fake. She's fake. She's never, she, she never gonna be you. She will never get away with what she did. This punishment is out. <clears throat> Why did she want to punish you and seek revenge? Why is this gold digger wanted to punish you and seek revenge against you? Because you are independent. I also have attracted, magnetic, passionate, you're very attractive, beautiful woman. It's a straight up jealousy on you. You're independent. She potentially is not independent or not attractive. Sure, she has money. Probably fake from head to toe. But she is not you. She doesn't have that internal happiness and joy. Spirituality. She's, she will never be you. No compared. Why else she wanted it to seek revenge against you? Calling from them, proposal, commitment, hook up, one night stand. Maybe she wanted to seek revenge against you because you hooked up with somebody or somebody proposed to you or somebody wanted to be with you. There's a home foundation here. Again, attraction, legal matter. She utilizes legal matter. She's she's addicted. She, she's unhealthy. It's... It's some sort of sick, unhealthy attachment, most likely to some sort of masculine here. Because I have here passion, passion, family, hookup, okay? Maybe she got dumped or maybe somebody else favored you and had passion towards you, but she couldn't let go. It's some sort of sick attachments. Yeah, most likely 
some somebody have started dating you because I have dating and meeting someone new. You could have met somebody new and started dating and maybe she was after this person or she wanted to seek revenge because you were with this person. And what did this gold digger not case? She lied. She lied to the law. She slandered you. She set you up. She entrapped you. She's a liar. She brought forth some sort of legal disputes. And if you file a complaint or go to court, you have to understand that this is called perjury if you lie. More than perjury because she've done a lot more than, than that. Highly unhealthy, addicted, female, miserable. I, I feel the sense of misery. Pathetic, unattractive, ugly inside and out, sick, unstable. So she lied. She lied to the courts, to the officials, to the police. Teddy bear. Because somebody was interested in you. You had a blooming romance, flirting, or somebody wanted to date you. See, somebody wanted to be with you. She couldn't bear that fact. She knew she was running out of the time because if she would have waited any longer, you could have been married to somebody. She couldn't allow that to happen. So, of course, what, what the best possible scenario that she would come up with is to seek revenge against you and lie. She was obsessed. She, she's still addicted to you. She's still obsessed with you. She can't let go. But one thing, she will have no choice because I see distractions in her life. On all levels. And if she lied to the law, which clearly she did, she brought forth false accusations against you as a means of punishment because somebody was attracted to you and, and wanted to be with you because you were in a blooming romance and she could, couldn't, couldn't let it be. Corruption. There's also corruption here involved. If she's a gold digger, gold digger, she is, she definitely could have bribed up the cops. She could have paid out PI. She could have paid out Fake witnesses. What the? F who the fuck knows what coming out through this uh, idiotic person's mind that is highly addicted to you and destroying your life? There's could could happen anything. Could really happen anything because that's how sick of a person she is. She did this to you out of jealousy. Gold digger, obsessed with money only. Money. She may show off her wealth. She may show off herself on a social media as a highly successful and rich person, but she's a shit. She's a gold digger. She dates men for money. She entraps men for money. She herself has nothing. Represents nothing. Without money, she's nothing. A corrupt gold digger. And there was a corruption here. I feel like uh, I just seen... Um, in the bottom of the deck, West Side. This is, could be West Division of some sort of police department who was corrupt. She could have hooked up with somebody, paid out somebody, knew somebody. DSM-5, mental disorder. And I have West. This individual, without doubt, was diagnosed with DSM-5 disorder. Those who doesn't know what DSM-5 disorder are, they're pretty much diagnostic manual for psychiatric mental disorders so she's definitely have something or have been diagnosed or actually will be diagnosed officially from suffering from some sort of mental disorder i don't know what that disorder is i'm not an expert but definitely i see on her report she has some sort of dsm-5 disorder serious disorder it's a it's almost like a sociopathic psychopathic manic that simply cannot let you go.
and constantly trying to cause you harm because she lost her mind. She lost her mind because somebody was maybe even in love with you or wanted to be with you. And she, could, she, couldn't, she couldn't see it happening, so she needed it. She needed it to end this relationship for you. So what the truth will come out, the truth will come out about the corruption that had to place to be in your situation. This is, could be corrupt cops, corrupt judicial system, bribed, paid. Maybe she slept with some cops intentionally to get what she wanted. Maybe she slept with other officials to get what she wanted. For her, the most important is money. She is 100% a gold digger. So there was a lies brought forth against you that is now coming out to light meaning that it's being revealed with high priestess, whatever it is was secret is being revealed about this this person, right? Seven of Swords, secret, secret manipulation, secret lies, malice, by whom? Queen of Pentacles again. She's, she's most likely is a um, pentacle, see? Lover's card. She wanted to break your relationship. She didn't want you to be happy. She either wanted to be with your partner, interfered, or she simply manipulated everybody to get rid of you so if you're not happy you understand she could be an earth sign she could be an earth sign and i guarantee you that there was an obstruction of justice i have virgo as an earth sign she could be a virgo she also could be uh, she also could be taurus or she could be also a Capricorn. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is most likely her astrological sign. And it shows because she's highly a gold digger. For her, maintaining and being greater than you was main objective. And there's, I sense so much jealousy on you as a divine feminine, as a, as a woman, as this Queen of Cups, this beautiful, gentle, kind person that she, she couldn't stand. What is her astrological sign? What is her astrological sign? I have Capricorn. I have second choice Virgo and lastly Taurus. Most likely either Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. Either Capricorn or, or Virgo. So birthday between December 22nd, January 19th. And we're go sub, uh, from August 23rd and September 22nd. Taurus from 21st of April to 21st of May. But point is she wanted, she, she was so obsessed and sick, mentally sick. She's suffering from some sort of mental disorder clearly because no sane person would have do uh, the harm that she did to you. Uh, out of jealousy, simply jealousy, lied to the cops, bribed cops. Harassed judicial system. Harassed everybody. Crying the wolf almost. Pretended to be a victim. Hack your stuff. Used your identity. All with intention to entrap you. So this is all out. I feel like it's it's no longer a secret. This is what I mean. That it's no longer a secret. It's time for relevation and time for truth. So there's nothing she can do anymore. Nothing, no matter how hard she's trying right now to do anything to you, nothing works. Because truth is out about what she did. And what exactly did she want? It clarify lovers. This is, could be a third party. Like I said, could be either somebody else that your masculine was seeing. Or this is, could have been an ex of your ex or your partner. Clarified lovers. Possession, an ability to let go. She couldn't let go. She strings us. I'm going to keep by force. I'm going to keep by force. There was also magician manipulation. She could have she could have did some sort of spells. I have magic here by fire sign female. Also could represent a witch or somebody that does anything. Or having manipulation was done because of some other female here. Some sort of fire sign female as well. But heavy, heavy manipulation. She, she couldn't let go. She wanted it. She wanted to keep. 
Who she who she can let go of? That's the second question. Who she can let go of? I have two of ones. Hangman, ten of ones. Emperor. Yeah, emperor. See, some sort of emperor walked away. Or you had to walk away from some sort of emperor. The person that at one point you thought was solid, you actually... But this person, once again, by two of... Two of ones, two of ones had choices, two choices. So it could have been two females here. But there was a pressure put on this individual. I feel like it. And that individual has walked away. Or you had to walk away from this situation because it was it's become unbearable. Clarify the emperor. Ended. It's ended. It's ended because secret manipulation of third parties. All brought forth by this lying gold digger. And every single thing she said, it was all fabricated. See, moon card. Once again, high priestess and a moon card comes up. Heavy, heavy lying, heavy manipulation was done by third parties. Meaning that she involved a lot of people. A lot of people, the whole community potentially, legal community, police community, neighbor community, church community, you name it. But you have to understand that this person is truly sick. She, she suffers from mental psychiatric disorder. <laughs> but don't you worry because truth is out what she did. What will be the karma for her? Well, three of cups... Celebrated too early. Celebrated too early. Because I feel like position is not going to change. Seven of wands. She's right now trying to puffing and huffing. Trying to defend herself as usual. There is a king of wands. Three of wands. Five of swords. Some sort of individual from your past also involved. This is, could be he could be a fire sign. Some sort of masculine. So this cycle, I feel like you end it. It is 100% ended. And every community, everybody that lied against you, that brought forth harm against you in any way, shape, or form, will be brought to justice. I have justice once again, and I have truth. Justice and truth. In this particular scenario, Queen of Wands, this is, could be a corrupt female or somebody else that was involved here. Clarified Queen of Wands. Clarified Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Seven of Cups. Wow. Three of Swords. Yeah, this is, could be this other fire sign that uh, also responsible for this corruption. For what was done to you, this heavy manipulation plus two other masculine here involved. Could be the same person. King of Pentacles, also a gold digger, but actually could be a water sign. They're currently right now fighting, arguing, trying to defend their corrupt positions. But I feel like with Three of Swords, this is pain and suffering. This is ending. Ending. So they won't be able to conceal, conceal the truth. By magician card, you in control. You're in power. You have a God-given power. Blessings. Opportunities. You, you, you in charge and in control. 100% of this corrupt, sick revenge against you by a sick community. Because it was sick people that did this to you. So know that there is nothing they can do to, to lie, to continue lying. It's over. Tell me more about this corruption. Because there was lies brought forth through court. And this is rarely happens. It rarely happen unless the cops themselves or judges or JPs or whoever else are bribed. This is never happens. It only happens in two circumstances. Incompetence, which is unacceptable in those who are in position of authority. And second would be abuse of power and authority and abuse of process. So regardless which way we're looking at the situation, lack of competence or abuse of power and authority and abuse of process, it still ends. Clarify this corruption. Courthouse. It was a corruption in the courthouse. 
She either worked in the courthouse, she either a judge. Maybe this gold digger slept with one of this masculine here, a cop or whoever, bribed somebody. So by the end of the day, there was a judicial corruption, legal corruption. Whoever brought forth this lying, this lying information, the lying evidence against you will no longer be able to conceal and stop the revelation that is already being revealed. I have ending here. Ending and I have sudden walls for you. So know that this is coming to an end. It's all coming to an end here. Again, I shuffled the deck, sudden walls come up. So, so you're going to get back what belongs to you. This corruption in the courthouse is ending. It's over. It's enough. Enough. <clears throat> what else can you tell me about this corruption? Any information about this corruption? I love you. Somebody wants to say I love you. I have air sign in the bottom. Okay. I love you online. Somebody either watching you online or watching you somehow. And this just want you to know that they love you. Soul journey. I feel like someone here coming in towards you. Home. Start a journey with this new person. Build a home. Have a home. This person is there thinking already about having a home. Family with you. Celebration. Somebody here is trying to pass you a message that you are loved. And truth is out. That um, soon you will celebrate. Victory, victory over sick people and sick community, corrupt community, unethical, unprecedented, mentally disturbed. And I feel like the whoever is coming in, this could be the message from a future partner or future person that wants you to know that they're, you know, thinking, thinking about you, thinking about you. I have friends. You may have a new circle of friends as well. Something here will be finalized on paper. On paper, what is going to be finalized on, on paper? Madly in love and intimacy. So on paper means le legally, maybe on paper, something will be um, signed. So you will be here protected. And I also have here jail and prison. Envy, jealousy. So this, like I said, gold digger here, queen of pentacles, and this fire sign and other crooks, they're going to go to, to jail for, for their envy and their jealousy against you. There, there's actually, so they must have done something terribly fucked up here that they're going to end up in prison. Not a probation, not, not a peace bond, not conditional sentence. This is actually going to be a prison prison. Tell me more about this jail. Official person. Some sort of official person going to go to jail. Plus this uh, gold digger. But if this gold digger is suffer from some sort of psychiatric disorder... Under DSM-5, depending what type of disorder she is, there's different types and whether it is progressive, not progressive, who knows. So it's either a psychiatric detachment, because that's what they wanted to put you through, uh, or prison. But there's definitely official person, a person that abused their power and authority, participated in obstruction of justice, violated your fundamental rights, allowed this corruption to take place for a very long time, will go to prison will go to prison for all the hatred and envy towards you. So there's imprisonment of official person here. Who is an official person? Government employee. Somebody who is holds some sort of official appointments. 
military, cop, judges, politicians, who, whatever else. Some sort of male here showing me, main male. Journey, despair. Unexpected income, female here as well. Partners, partner up together. Female, female, male. Some sort of female and male. Mature male and mature female. So they're not, not young. Maybe this queen of pentacles is young. Maybe relatively same age as you, doesn't have to be. But this crooks, official crooks, they come up that they're parting up together. Two fakes here. Redhead. Maybe at one point she had cherry burgundy red hair and some sort of masculine hair was a mustache. Doesn't have to be. Slimmer, sl slimmer looking male. Like a light brownish hair or grayish hair. So there's Steve here. See? They will officially not only going to lose their jobs, but they're also going to be held accountable. Because they're corrupt. The corruption season, it's never end. So much hatred towards you. So much hatred towards you. I have sudden wells. Poverty. So they're going to come from richest to poorest. Well, understand what it's like to earn money lawful way. I have lovers here. I have marriage. Child. Wealthy man. You're going to have, you're going to be with some other man here. Like I said, somebody here who is successful, wealthy. You're going to be yourself uh, successful. These crooks are going to be in a bad house. They're going to receive this message. They won't cross your, your path again. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So these are in regards of these corrupt fakes. That diagnosed with DSM-5 disorders. And try to... And try to make you crazy. Themselves crazy. You know? It's sad. Now let's take a look what other messages I have for you, my wonderful collectives. Let me take this out. Lying, jealous, crazy, gold digger, corrupt, sick in the head. Under DSM-5. This is would have not happened if not corruption. That's exactly why this has been going on for such a long period of time. Because everybody here, I feel like, involved in this situation trying to protect their asses right now. Because nobody here wants to go to jail. But it's too late because it's already out. The truth is out. Sure, it might have taken some time. But this is a time what is for. Time is a most incredible tool that bring forth truth. That, that, that's what time does. This is that gold digger snake. Jealous of you. Always have been jealous of you. Still jealous of you. Will always be jealous of you. Always. Kind of the wanna be you. Wanted to be you. So no more secrets. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? Is she... If she wanted to be you, like what 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 is this deal about her? What's what other problem about her? Bad timing, too little, too late. Take uh taken, not ready to love again. Public image. Narcissist, too concerned about public image, worried about her appearance, because she's a narcissistic, crazy sociopath, psycho. You know, a a dark triangle. Try it, they call them. A dark trial. Try it or something like that. There's a three disorder. Grandiose, psychopaths, mania. You know, the, the sickest of the sick. And highly childish. Very childish, very immature. Acts like a child. Lies like a, like I don't know who. Angry. Rowing eyes. Late bloomer, I see. Self-righteous. Show off. 
hoity-toity, adrift, not willing to settle down, a gold digger, tangled, like she's, she's crushed, she's crushed. Bad affairs. Like, no, but she cannot even be in relationship or maybe even perhaps keeping in a relationship. And even if she does, this is temporarily because she's she has serious, serious anger issues. Anger issue, yo-yo, up and down, unstable, unfit, angry, lying, constantly lying, a liar. What other messages I have for you, my wonderful collectives here? Forgiveness. Intention. Answered prayer. Spiritual growth. Well, the other messages, like I said, that you may be potentially forgiven these individuals already for what was done. Because you you're reasonable, you're intellectual, you're understanding. You you understand what it was all about. Yes, you can never justify unjustifiable behavior of individuals who are clearly suffering mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So you have forgiven. And if you haven't yet forgiven, then the time will come where you will. You, like I mentioned earlier, you accepted this journey as your personal spiritual growth. You become maybe closer to the divine. You started to believe in yourself so it was definitely a period that you will never take for granted because you personally have grown have grown and often this difficult situation are given in everybody's path for that specific purpose because we need to evolve and pain is the greatest teacher so i have prayers here i have forgiveness either somebody's trying to seek your forgiveness or you simply let go. You let go and you've forgiven everybody that have done you wrong. But it does not mean that justice won't prevail. Because justice itself is for God to be in charge of. Through judges, through special forces tasks, through court, whatever the case may be. So the moment you let go, this is when your prayers got answered. Because I do not sense hatred, hatred towards these people. I, I, I kind of feel like you're looking at this situation from, like I said, this spiritual awakened path and being highly understanding and reasonable about everything. You simply accepted the will of God. And, and that's the best thing you can do. What else? Celebration. Three of cups. Except, expect happiness and I have justice. Still justice will prevail and your victory. You will be victorious against, against corruption, against lies, malice, revenge, fraud. You will be victorious. Victory. Six of Wands, Three of Cups, Justice card. And there is a new partner coming in towards you, King of Swords. King of Swords. Fighter for truth. Because Swords is about truth. Truthful person. Your soulmate, your other half. So that person could be already in your life. If not, that person is coming in. And uh, in regards of this whole situation, you will celebrate your victory. This is going to be judicial victory. You will, you will witness with your own eye, eyes that justice actually prevails. Regardless of these two corrupt crooks here standing, wearing red. See? It's someone who connected to the law. On one side we have red, like a judge. And there's you, a simple, plain, beautiful person with a child. There's a young man standing here. Or could be your friend or whatever the case may be. 
You will win. You will win against these crooks who abuse their power and authority. So justice will prevail. So know that victory is coming your way. This is without doubt and 100% confirmations here. They cannot get away anymore with lying. It's out. It's out. Let's take a look what runes have for you or have to say in regards of this victorious position of yours. Burkana. It's about birth, general fertility, both mental and physical, and personal growth, liberation, regeneration, regenerative power, and light of spring, renewal, promise of new beginnings and new growth. So know that there is a new beginning coming in for you as soon as this situation is coming in. There is a new beginning regardless. Nothing and no one can stop it or interfere with it. It's time for justice and it's time for truth. That's the message for you. All right, my wonderful collective. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay strong. And I will see you next time. Bye.